in two different ways. And then acromantia, I would say typical levels are like, you know, one to 3%. Um, and so you're kind of wanting it to be in the zone. And it's not, because you do see people where acromantia is raised. And this is something that I've, I've noted over years of experience, more so than what's in the research. But high levels of acromantia are often associated with gut inflammation. Mm. And it's not as a cause of gut inflammation, but as a consequence of gut inflammation. Because when your gut is inflamed, it produces mucus. What is the main food source of acromantia? Mucus. So if you make more of it, it feeds it up. So you'll get some patients where their acromantia gets like, sometimes it can be as little as six or 7%. And you're like, okay, this is kind of double where it should be. Is there a reason why? Yeah. Other people will be 10 or 12 or 15% or 20%, which is much more rare. But again, for them, when it's that high, we'll always do a fecal calprotectin. Go, okay, is there some path pathological level of inflammation being present or is it more mild? You know, generally they'll, they'll have, you know, mucus in the stool when you ask them about it, but not always, but they often will. Um, and I've also seen a, a, that sort of slightly raised or slightly elevated acromantia being associated with hydrogen sulfide gas issues okay. too. And again, we know what hydrogen sulfide gas in, in excess amount is doing. It's causing colonic inflammation, you know, dysfunctional colonocytes, et cetera. And I think it's, it's your body's producing the mucus to deal with that. And then you end up with this raised acromantia. So it's an interesting, you know, clinical observation, you know, where you're going, okay, the hydrogen sulfide bill of phyla is high and acromantia is also get raised too. And that's just like really just signifying that inflammation is present. So it's not like we're targeting, oh, we need to get that acromantia down. No, <laughs> we target the inflammation and then acromantia will come down. Okay. It's an accord, but it, but it is seen as one of those key species whose who, whose job it is is to look after gut integrity, mm. and by doing that, helps with blood sugar regulation and metabolism and body weight regulation. Okay. Well.